What's up guys, it's Da Vinci. Today I'm gonna be doing a Smino tutorial based off his latest album, Love For Rent. So um, yeah, I actually made the beat already, but um, I forgot to record this part in the beginning. But yeah, man, we're gonna be working at FL Studio. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Also, I used my newest drum kit in this beat, Da Vinci Kit Volume 5. Make sure you guys go check that out, man. I just released it last week. Um, yeah, man. But yeah, let's get straight into the video. All right, guys. So today, um, we're gonna be working in FL Studio. Um, so yeah, for this beat, I think I'm gonna start out by using. Uh, I think I'll start out by using like some bells. I never usually start out with bells, but um, yeah, I'm gonna open up this plugin right here, Imagero Piano Two. Uh, this plugin is made by this really dope um, um, like developer on Twitter, and he makes his um, his name's Imagero, but he uh, makes a lot of cool like plugins and stuff. But he has this really cool like piano plugin. And it has this really nice bell in it. And I I don't know, I, I like this plugin a lot. I definitely recommend it. It was only like 30 bucks so. But um Yeah man, I'm about to start out with some bells. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a tiny bit of like um what is it? I'm gonna put a little bit of like wobble on it. Just to make it sound a little like lo fi kinda. So yeah, I'm gonna Put this tape mellow fi on which is basically a free plugin from alteria i'm gonna turn down the mechanics a little bit put up the drive a tiny bit also gonna put up the flutter and wear so let me hear it see how this sounds so now we got a nice little like um sound going on so i'm gonna try to come up with some chords um i think i'll start off by playing at like 127 So I'm gonna record those chords. Um, it's kind of like a, what is it? It's kind of like a two five one, but like the bass notes I'm playing, like I'm doing like a little walk up on the bass notes. So let's try that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I kind of messed up on that second. That second half, but it sounded kind of cool, so we'll keep it. All right, so these are the chords we got right now. I even will speed up a tiny bit. I might take out. This. I'm gonna take out this chord, or maybe. Right, that's pretty cool. I'm not mad at that. Okay, so we got some nice chords going on. We got a nice little, you know, lo-fi bell sound. Um, I'm trying to think what I hear on this next. I think, I think like a cool synth sound would be kind of nice in this, or like kind of like a weird. Okay, let's open up Omnisphere. We can find like kind of like a strange sound to add on to this. Um, I kind of hear this like choir sound on it, like a choir in the back. 
but like I want the choir to be kind of like vinyl-y, like weird. So I'm gonna. Uh, okay, actually, okay, I'm gonna go to type here. I'm gonna go all the way down to the bottom. I'm gonna go to vinyl lo-fi, and I'm gonna pick this um. Uh, where is this called? Let's, let's, let's find it. Oh yeah, this one right here. This is it. Perfect. So I'm gonna put a little bit of reverb on this, just to give it a little bit of a vibe. Uh, Valhalla Shimmer is one of my favorite reverbs. It sounds so crazy. All right, so I'm gonna just uh play along to this and try to catch a vibe. That was kind of cool right there if I hold down the left. Again. I think I'm not gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna do another like layer sound but I think for this sound I think it works better as like kind of like a lead all right that's cool for now um I don't think I'm gonna quantize it just yet so we have like that kind of like natural kind of vibe to it Maybe I'll fix this note. This note is kind of weird. Alright, maybe we'll quantize it. Uh, I might actually quantize it. But I'm, I'm gonna try not to. I'm gonna just keep going. Going on, we'll come back to that. They have like some really weird uh, uh, bass sounds like, in Omnisphere, but I just want to do like a bass sound and kind of just like go along with it for like kind of like a, maybe like a hook or whatever. So I'm gonna do this. Actually, I'm not. I don't. I'm not sure if I like the reverb on this bass line. Uh, let me. It sounds cool. Hold on. Maybe I can just take off the reverb. So there's definitely like some type of reverb on here. I think so. Uh, wait, was it? Oh yeah, pro reverb. We're gonna take that off. I'm not too slow on that. And we're gonna take out some of the high ends. I think. That would be kind of cool if we automated this like filter right here. Matter of fact, let, let's try that. that that's that's kind of cool. All right, so we're gonna automate this this high. What is this like? A, this like high cut filter. So we're gonna create an automation track right here, and um, we're just gonna kind of like play around with it. <laughs> I think now we need to kind of like a like a like a kind of like a groove sound. Yeah, we need like a like a repetitive kind of like rhythmic sound to add to this. So let's see. I don't know if this electric piano would be good for a rhythmic sound, but I'm gonna just kind of like play like kind of like melody to it. All right, we got 
cool little layer. And on this sound, I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, RC20 on it. It's kind of blending a little more. Put a little bit of a uh, that on there. I'm actually gonna add a low note here, just kind of like fill it in a little more. synth sound and that will kind of wrap it up okay i kind of hear like a weird like brass like a synth brass on it so let's kind of let's try using this uh cz5 plugin see if we can layer it with something cool all right <laughs> Got a little loop going on. Loki might take out. Might take out those hot notes. Might I think I'm gonna replay them, but for now I'm gonna take them out just so it sounds a little more simple. All right, so now I'm gonna start moving on to some drums. Um, so for the drums today. I'm gonna be using the Da Vinci Kit Volume Five. I just dropped this kit. Uh, link in uh, description on my website, dilvinci.com. Da but uh, yeah, a lot of cool sounds in here. I got some loops in here too. Uh, just a lot, a lot of cool stuff in here, man. I really like this kit. But yeah, so let's start out with um, just some drums, man. So I'm gonna just try to do a cool like uh, kind of like beat to it. I guess I'm gonna start with like, a kick, like hi hat, snare. up a little bit all right let's see
I'm gonna put this right here. I'm gonna do a nice little roll on it too. Oops, just so it's kind of like fast. Ooh, that sounds nice. Then we're gonna do a little velocity roll down. That's sick, that's sick. So we're gonna drag this over so it's on beat and whatnot. And we're gonna double this. So let's continue this. So now, okay, yeah, this is like a nice little. Got a nice little. Um, Sound like we're like a little hook with it. Sound like maybe. So, I'm actually gonna put these down. Not too. Real quick. I'm gonna put all the drums. I'm gonna take all the drums and put them on uh, insert eight right here. And I'm gonna put a decapitator on all of them so we can kind of like kind of distort them and saturate them a little bit. So, yeah, we're gonna turn like drive up a little bit, turn the output up. So now I should. I'm thinking we can even just keep the drums in one thing right here. So we got the drums right here. That was hard. Yeah, that kick is kick is going crazy right now. Okay, so so for now I'm gonna try doing something kind of weird. Um, I'm gonna take this loop we did and I'm gonna um run it through Edison so we can get the loop for it. <clears throat> I want to try like maybe like reversing it or just like. Double time in it, or just, I don't know. I just want to like manipulate it to see if we can come up with a cool idea with it. Right here, I'm gonna take this out. My computer is lagging like crazy. <laughs> I wonder why, man. My computer has been kind of acting up lately, unfortunately. Should be enough. We should be able to chop up some with that, hopefully. Uh, so I'm just gonna trim trim this this uh, loop right here. And um, what is it? The audio track window. Uh, I'm gonna try doubling time. I'm, I want to try double time and see how that sounds. I'm pitching it up. All right. Let's see how this might sound weird, but let's just experiment. I'm just not sure if I like that bass line, honestly. I don't know if I like that second half, honestly. I'm, I'm gonna try some real quick. Try doing a different part, maybe. Ooh, that's crazy. Yeah, that's that's the one. Yeah, 
Yeah, let's chop that up. That was fire. Let's see what we can do with that. I want to be like. right there. in here and put this down with key. I kind of like that. I think that's pretty valid. I think maybe we could do like uh, this could be like the drop. Maybe like we can even have like this still. I feel like this part can be like a hook or something. This part's still fire. Could be like a hook maybe. Also, I wanna kind of like do a little build up. So we're gonna loop that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get my tag too for now. Yeah, no, 
this this has a crazy bounce to it. All right, see how this sounds. Ooh, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, we gotta put that low one in there too. That one's that one's kind of crazy. I also, all right. So before we do anything else, I gotta kind of like consolidate all this into like one clip because it's kind of hectic. All right, so I'm gonna just record the freaking. Oh, I don't want the 808 in there. Freak. Uh, well, I don't think the 808 is recording in this actually. So we got that. Gonna put this in here. So now we got this. We can kind of. We don't got. I won't delete this, but I'm gonna just mute it for now. Um, also, I think actually, I'm gonna just drag this down so we can save it. But it's like not in the way. I'm actually gonna drag down a little bit more because it is in the way. All right. So now we got the actual loop thing. Now that we got this in like one audio file. I can go over here, make this one unique. And I can put this one down an octave. Oh, let me do that. I mean, I mean the drums. I think also maybe. I think this vinyl noise. Uh, effects would be kind of better in the background so I'm gonna use this one this will fit more yeah, this, this, this beat's kind of hard I'm not gonna lie I didn't like it at first really but now it's now it's a lot better and right here yeah I like that little drop right there too that's nice take this honestly I might just like put like a drum over it or something so I'm gonna go into uh, oh man my drum kits aren't working right now dang maybe we don't even might not even need drums in that part honestly nah this beat's crazy alright All right, actually what if we start out with the low part Right, let's try this. Let's start out with the low part. That's kind of nice. I'm gonna let it build up into this. I don't even know if, it, if I want that build up. I kind of want it to all drop at once. Yeah, this beats hard. I think I think th this this part's good. I think that's why I'm working on the hook part. I think for now, I'm, I'm gonna just try to keep it simple. Um, I do want to do more to it, but I think um, like the video is running a little long, so I'm just gonna take the drums like this for now and just do it like this. Okay, I think I know what it needs. Okay, this part needs like some strings or something. So we are gonna add some strings in here. Uh, and first, let me save this because I don't want to lose this beat. Oh, my hard drive isn't even open right now. Fuck. Okay, I just gotta. I'm just gonna say that just for now. Just so like you have it saved so I don't lose it. This is fire. 
Okay, so actually, I'm gonna turn down the laser sound a tiny bit because it's a little too loud. Okay, so we're gonna add some strings now. Um, I'm just gonna go into contact. We're gonna pull up some session strings. Um, pretty good string bank and contact. Um, yeah, we're gonna pull up the, the session strings. Once the contact loads, it's gonna take a minute. <laughs> All right, cool. So we're gonna pull up the session string right here. I uh, will just use like the probably the first one, honestly. But yeah, I'm just gonna play some strings along to this. So yeah, let's try it. I think I'm in the key minor. That could be cool. I might, I might redo it, but I think for now it should be straight. Uh, let me just throw some like effects on it. Maybe like a little bit of reverb. <laughs> guys so i'm gonna play from the top real quick so you guys can hear it and then i'm gonna wrap up the video so yeah here's the finished beat <laughs> subscribe also if you guys are interested make sure to purchase the davinci kit volume 5 hell yeah guys thanks for watching peace